Now, watching an infant struggle with the aches and pains of teething can be tough, but the FDA has issued a new warning about the jewelry marketed for relieving tooth pain. You know, the kind that babies wear around their neck or their wrist. Doc wrist doctors say there are better alternatives for relieving the discomfort. We recommend cold teething rings or even cold fruits and vegetables, providing they're the right appropriate size for the child, but no frozen products and to really steer clear of any homeopathic medications. The recent FDA warning was issued after the organization received multiple reports of serious injury and even death due to strangulation and choking incidents as a result of the jewelry. In addition to the potential life-threatening dangers of teething jewelry, Dr. Dr. Love says these products can also lead to trauma to the mouth or mouth infections. She also says it's best to avoid using medications or topical gels for teething. Those are not recommended. Dr. Love says there are times when it's appropriate to use acetaminophen if a child is getting multiple teeth at once, but it's best to call your pediatrician first. And if a child is experiencing a high fever, she says parents should not write it off as just teething because it could be a sign of an actual illness. A little bit of nasal congestion is always associated with teething, perhaps some changes to stools, maybe a little bit looser, but I caution parents that true fever um, copious diarrhea or a lot of nasal congestion certainly associated with cough or trouble breathing would not actually be a part of the teething syndrome picture. So the doctor says that it's worth always checking the FDA website before buying anything you're unsure of and don't assume that just because something is sold in a store that it's safe for your baby. And